do my spring house tour. So I am actually gonna start outside. I just start, decided to start in here because it is sprinkling just a little bit. It has been raining for the last few days. Spring is here. So I am going to take you out there first and then make our way in. Um, my name is Dream, if you are new to my channel, and I make a ton of mom content. I love cleaning videos, I love organizational videos, and I have a series of spring cleaning videos on my channel. If you enjoy content like that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. So let's jump right into this video. So hi guys, we are starting outside on my front porch. It has been raining and windy and all of that stuff lately. So it has leaves and it's really wet, but we're gonna start out here. The show doesn't stop and we're just gonna go. So um, we're gonna first, I'll talk about my little um, area over here. You guys know I always do a little something in this corner for each season. So we have our little bunny right here. He's so cute and he was $17.99. He was from um, Home Goods, and I love him. He's adorable and he just looks like a little rust ball. And then I have a little birdhouse and that's like moss and twigs. And um, I pick that up, that up at um, Michael's like probably a month or two ago. And I did a haul on my channel where I show that. And then we have these two eggs here. And those eggs are actually from their last year. And they are from Hobby Lobby. They were like $3.99 or $2.99 a piece. But then you, I, oop, my. <laughs> They're $3.99 a piece, but I got them like 40% off. And then this bunny kisses, kisses an Easter wishes sign is also from Hobby Lobby and it was $7.99. And then these two plants I've had up here from Valentine's Day. I got those from our local grocery store. And then same thing as this hydrangea, which is my absolutely my favorite plant ever. Like I had those in my wedding. I love hydrangeas. So that is just my little setup there. Easy peasy. And then my mat that I always have, it just says welcome. And that was from Home Goods. I have it for every season and I don't change it out. And then the mat underneath, we've had it for years and I don't change that out either. So those are kind of staples. The plants are usually staples and then I just add to it. And then on my door, I have this little cute wreath that I've had up since last season. And then I have this Happy Easter little plaque in the middle and I picked that up last year. And then my Hello Spring sign, I've had that since last year. And they sell it both at Hobby Lobby and they also sell it at um, Michael's. So, and everything at Michael's now, you know, they always have discounts. So if it's not 40 to 50% off, it'll be that price next week. So I'll pan back and then that is just my front porch. Okay, let's go on and inside. We are inside my house and then I'll do this area first. So this is just a pillow cover and I, the blanket I always have there, the basket I always have there, that is like a blessed pillow. I just flipped it around, um, the tag sticking out, but this um, bunny pillow, that's just a cover and I just took off I just change out the covers. So, and I got that one from Hobby Lobby last year. I think I paid like four bucks for it. But that's a great little tip. Just buy the pillow form and then switch out the cover to go along with each season. And then what did I change up here? Um, all the other stuff pretty much stays the same. Um, my wax warmer, my little key holder, and so these two are from the Target Dollar Spot last year. That wax warmer is from Hobby Lobby. And the florals in there, I've had those forever and ever. The mirror and the reef, I always have those up. And then I just added this cute little house and that was from Michael's. And the price is probably still on the back. So it says $11.99, but I know I didn't pay that. Um, I'm pretty sure I got like 50% off. And then this little bird cage with the candle is always there. And then on the second row, the houses are always there. They are from the Target Dollar Spot and I pretty much have them up all season. Um, the little family sign is always there. That's from the Target Dollar Spot. 
either last year or the year before. I did get this new little cute plant and that is from the tar Target, the Hearth and Hand collection. And it was only $4.99. And then like my little bunny from Michael's, I had those from last year. And then I just put a little egg. I got a pack of speckled eggs from um, Hobby Lobby last year and they were like $6.99, but I got a big discount, like 40 or 50% off of them. So you'll see those scattered throughout my house. On the bottom, everything is kind of the same. One of a Dollar Tree house, the love sign that's from the dollar store. This little like wood is from, um, I can't remember, Hobby Lobby, I think. But that like stays forever, that always is up. And then in my little tin, the only thing I added in there was this little cute little bunny and that tin is always there. I just put different things in it and then I added more of those speckled eggs and that bunny is from Michael and the speckled eggs belong to that pack and that is from Hobby Lobby. But that is that little area. So um, this is our table. It's a huge farmhouse table. Uh, my husband built it. He built the benches, the chairs, everything. Um, the table burlap runner, I always have it on there. So find a staple piece that you can use for every season. And sometimes I will throw a shorter runner on top or sometimes I will just leave it as is, but that's like a staple. Um, the little candles um, holders, those are from Michaels. They're very old, those are staples. And most seasons I use this little garden um, vase. These are the same flowers that I picked up from Joann's. They were really affordable um, for Valentine's Day, the same faux flowers. Um, all of the eggs are from Hobby Lobby and they came in that same pack. And then the bird's nests are from the tar tar um, Target dollar spot last year. Um, I think they were just like three bucks or so. And um, they're like that wood. And then this sign, welcome with the little bunny eggs. That is from years and years ago and that's from Michael's. Um, and I just bring it out every year. And then for my tablescape, I mean my place setting. So for this area, I just have that reef that I, I've had up um, and then the little burlap, little messy, oh, let me fix it. <laughs> I just have these for the two chairs on the end and I like them. So for my place setting, super simple. Charger, I always have it. I got it from Wayfair years and years ago. Plate, that's just one of my regular kitchen plates. And then this is a napkin from um, Hobby Lobby. It was like $6.99 for the pair. And then a little carrot and it came in a huge pack. I got two packs from the Dollar Tree. Just super simple. Kitchen, and the kitchen is just really simple. This um, house and little cake stand I have up all year round. I just added in some carrots. Those are from the um, dollar store. And then this bunny like tray thing. I got that from the Target dollar spot last year. Super inexpensive. And then for this, these cute little bunny cups. I got those from Target this year. And then I just put some greenery in it. They were three bucks or five bucks, I can't remember. And I just put some greenery in there and then a little carrot. And then this area, most of this stuff always stays the same. I added in that little bunny, which is that favorite color of mine, um, the family sign, the reef, and the plant, which is real, those always stay there. And then where my soap is at in my little spray, that stuff always stays there. The little wood tray is from the Target dollar spot like almost two years ago. Only thing I added in it was that bunny and that little tin with the faux flowers is usually always there. And then this area, I just added in this little bunny sign. Follow the bunny. He has the chocolate. And then I also added in the carrot and the bunny sign is for my local grocery store, the same thing as that little bunny. And then the um, carrot is from Michael's a long time ago. Was this area, this little rustic wood thing always stays there. And then I just added this um, 
little uh, tea towel from Home Goods. Over here, I made a little um, garland myself, and all of that felt, those felt shapes are from the Target dollar spot last year. And then here I have this little basket. It was like three bucks from the Target dollar spot this year, and I just put some felt carrots in there and some felt eggs, and those were all from the Target dollar spot last year. She has two little books here. We're going on an egg hunt and um, Happy Easter Pow Pow Fish, and those are all both from Home Goods. And in her little bucket over here, there are more books for Spring and Easter and St. Patrick's Day. And then this little area over here, um, we just have her bears, we put ears on that, and then this little thing is supposed to be a bunny, but it's from Home Goods. And then this little Happy Easter sign is from the um, Dollar Tree. And then we just have a little tea towel here, and this is from Home Goods. It came in a pack of two. The one in my kitchen is the other one. So that is it for. And then we go up. All of that stuff up there are that's staple. So the candles always stay. The reef always stays for the most part, except for Christmas. Um, the those are from Pier One. The mirror always says, that's from Pier 1. That little sign says, I just change out the sayings. The little topiaries usually say they're from Michael's years and years ago. Same as the re the other stuff. It's We've had it for a long time. What's new, the greenery always stays. The houses usually always stay. They're from the Target dollar spot. I added in these cute little birds, and those are from Michael's this year. And then this home sign We've had for like two years and that's from the Target dollar spot and then the burlap always stays. But that is how that area is and the greenery always stays as well. Then this area, I just added in some faux greenery and that is from actually the Target dollar spot this year. I usually, this little canister always stays. I just change out what what goes in it and that is from Amazon and I've had it for years and years and then my pillows the gray one always stays the bluish colored one always stays I'm um, the gray one came with the couch the blue one is from home goods like two years ago and then this little burlap one in cream one that is from um Walmart actually walmart.com and the little guest bath, the only thing I added was this Happy Easter peep sign. Let's turn on the lights. <laughs> and then this stuff usually stays, this little tin with the greenery. And then this um, is the scent we're using now, and that's from Costco, the Sweet Orange Hand Soap. It came in a pack of four. And then this little greenery always stays. And we have just this little sign that is hanging on that leads to like our mudroom, that door. So guys, that is it. That is my spring house tour. I go hope you guys enjoyed it. I like to add little touches of spring. I don't believe that you have to spend a ton of money to make your home inviting and welcoming. You just need to buy, have basics and then add little tiny touches. And that's what I did at my home. So I hope that inspired you guys and gave you some inspo to get your house all ready for the spring and Easter season. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see everybody in my next one. Bye.